Hello everyone. This is going to be my gear video. It might be a little bit long, longer than normal, but I want to show you my pack and all its contents. And this is the actual 2020 AT through hiker tag. And as you can see, they have in increased the mileage to 2,193 miles. So I'll get my number when I get to Amicalola Falls. Okay, what's shown in the picture here is my Z-Pax Arc Hall backpack. It's a 62 liter backpack, which includes all the pockets. And my Fox 40 whistle that I'm going to take and my rain cover is at the top of the screen. So this is the back of the pack. It is completely empty right now. And next I'll show you the front. Okay, this is the complete pack. Um, I don't know, before I said the other side was the front, so this must be the back. Um, <laughs> anyway, you look at it, there's a front and a back. So this is the side that has your straps, which goes against your back. So I'll show you quickly what I have added on to it. <clears throat> so in the center of the screen is the Z-Pax FUPA, which your hip belt attaches to. And then I have two belt pockets, which are loaded up with stuff right now. Uh, that, those two things are the Z-Pax Fablet, which I'm going to carry multiple things in it from time to time. Might have snacks, might have my phone, it might have uh, my lavalier mic cord, which is what's in there right now, and also my glass case, glasses case, which inside are my sport glasses that I'm going to be wearing, which are... Uh, the gray transition lenses, clear on the top, and bifocals on the bottom so I could read my phone, read gut hooks, and all that stuff. I have a bandana. I attached some reflector cord on the sides instead of the uh, other cord that came with the backpack, as well as a couple of those straps you see, the black straps right here and I will attach my trekking poles to those on the side of the pack. And let's see, there's three of those there. There is the bandana, that's one bandana that just goes through this pocket. And this pocket is where I will keep miscellaneous things, like in the front is a mesh pocket. I'll keep my lip balm, uh, snacks in there and so on. Sanitizer, hand sanitizer, and then I have a few of these straps, Velcro straps scattered around, which I'll hang wet clothes, wet bandanas off the back, off the front, and uh, those will be drying. As far as options go on this backpack, uh, the backpack just comes with the backpack itself and the hip belt. So the options are the two pockets, one on each side, the FUPA, and this is the water bottle holder, which weighs virtually nothing. So that's on one strap, and on the other strap is this accessory pouch. And then I also have a side pouch right here, and this is where I will keep my cook kit on the side of the pack, and then my whistle. Also, inside of the pack, I'm going to use a Z-Pax airplane case, which I'll show you next. This is a Z-Pax airplane case, which has a handle. It's made out of uh, Cuban fiber. It's seam sealed, so it's waterproof. And that will go inside of my pack, and everything that I want to keep dry will go inside of that. The top folds down like a normal dry sack. but. The advantage of this bag is that I can take this out. It's larger than the backpack itself. I can put the entire backpack inside of it 
and you fold down the top there's a carabiner right here that attaches to the other side and uh, so you can check this as baggage this is my z-pax duplex camouflage tent it's made out of cuban fiber and the bag at the bottom is a z-pax uh, tent stake bag actually it's the larger bag and inside of that is my trekking pole cup which i have one of and one 32 inch pole carbon fiber and that will just pull up on one side to give me a little bit more headroom and i have a bunch of tarp tent stakes in the bag as well shown here is my sleep system but the quilt is not shown right now so the way this works is i have a foam pad it's a gossamer gear ultralight thin foam pad that i'll spread out on the ground or on the bottom of my tent then i have my sleeping pad which i'll blow up that's the thermo rest neo air x light sleeping pad i have a couple of pillows because I have a little issue of my neck and my head when I sleep. So I, I'm gonna put two pillows on top of each other on top of the sleeping pad. And I have a um, kind of a cool workaround system for that, which I might explain at a later time. And then I have what's called the X-Ped Schnozzle. And this Schnozzle has <laughs> a little Schnozzle here. And I use that to actually blow up my air mattress instead of having to blow into it. So next up is my quilt. Before I show you the quilt, I did want to show you one more thing. The air mattress, the sleeping pad, the two pillows, I wind those around each other and then I put them inside of that x nozzle. That's the yellow thing there, gold colored. So the gray foam pad that will go on top of my backpack at the very top. I'll strap that on. And then the actual sleeping pad, the schnozzle, and the pillows, those will go at the bottom of my pack inside the dry bag. All right, this is my Catabatic Gear Flex 15 quilt, which is inside of the storage bag, and it's pretty large. So next I'll show you what it looks like when I put it in its stuff sack. I told you a little fib. So this is the stuff sack empty and you can see how big it is compared to the x nozzle with my air mattress inside and the Gossamer Gear foam pad. All right, I worked up a sweat getting it into the bag, but uh, this is the bag that comes with your Flex 15 quilt and you can kind of see it through the bag, all stuffed in there, as well as on the end, you can see the cords. Those are the cords that go around your sleeping pad. So now you can actually see the size of it compared to the sleeping pad rolled up and the Gossamer Gear foam pad. This is my cook kit. So the cook kit consists of my titanium cup right there with a koozie that I made. That yellow thing in the center is a hot lip that goes over the edge of the cup when you have hot water in there so you don't burn your lips. I have an MSR pocket rocket stove, a Bic lighter with tenacious or with um, K tape wrapped around it my fuel in wrapped inside of a bandana and of course pack it out it's trash so in that titanium spoon there that has uh, a bottle opener which is very important if you have a bottle <laughs> so there you go that's my entire cook system all right so there is my titanium cup with the fuel, the stove, the hot lip, 
and the Bic lighter inside. And that will all go in this very light little bag and that'll keep the lid on. And then my spoon I'll carry separately in the pack, in a side pocket and the trash as well. That'll go in the mesh pocket in the back. There's another quick shot of it inside of the mesh bag. This is my bear bag. It's an Ursac XL. And inside of that is enough food for five, four and a half days right now, as well as some reflectorized cord that's attached to the tag, which is also reflectorized. This is my electronics bag. And inside of the dry bag is a 26,800 milliwatt hour, milliamp hour RAV power battery pack. I have a six foot iPhone cord with a couple of uh, micro USB cords and my headphones so I can listen in the tent at night without disturbing people and a spare lavalier mic cover. So I will have another short iPhone cord as well. And there is my electronics bag all packaged up. Full, it gets very small when it's packed up. Okay, luxury items. I mentioned earlier that I had the pillows, the blow up pillows, ultra light pillows. And I also am taking my Fitbit watch on the left there, right there. A paper white Kindle, which weighs practically nothing, and then the Kindle case. I believe that the Kindle in the case weighs around nine ounces. So let's see what else. I also have an REI ultralight hand towel that I'm going to take. The Kindle's now inside the case, and I just wanted to tell you that the paper white Kindle, and it is waterproof, um, that weighs about nine ounces, like I said, and the charge, which is the most important thing, lasts for almost a month without recharging. So that's pretty cool in itself. Okay, this is what's in one of the pockets on the backpack. It's a rain write paper pad, so I can keep notes, and you can even write on the paper in the rain. Uh, that pen down there will write in the rain, an extra bandana, and then the FUPA webbing, so you can unhook the FUPA pack. You can unhook the FUPA from your pack and uh, wear the FUPA like a fanny pack with that strap. This is what is inside of my other pocket that's on the belt, hip belt. So at the top of the screen are some water purification tablets in case I get there and it's freezing temperatures. I don't want my Sawyer squeeze to freeze. On the far left there over here is the Shenandoah Pass. I've already got that filled out, ready to go. Some wet wipes. Uh, magic marker, permanent marker, and my first aid, which just consists of some Neosporin and a few Band-Aids. Here's a couple more miscellaneous items which fit either in the mesh pocket on my pack or the side pocket on my pack, and that's my dirty water bags. I'm going to carry two of the CNOC bag, two liter bags. They don't weigh much, and when I get to camp, I like to have lots of water. So once I'm done with the water, I'll just dump it out, and that is where I will attach my Sawyer Squeeze to to filter the water. I have a Burt's Bees lip balm right there. I took a smart water bottle and I cut it off, and that'll be my scoop, and my CNOC bag that's the other one fits inside of that. And then this is a Petco ultralight tripod. And I can use the Velcro strap that's on it right here 
to a tree or fence post and hook my camera onto it and uh, it works out really well. Here's a couple more miscellaneous items that weigh next to nothing. I took a sunshade and I trimmed it down. Uh, that's actually what I made my two koozies out of. So what was left, I cut it off flat and that's going to be the pad on the floor in the vestibule and then my sit pad is on the bottom there. And here are some more miscellaneous items. Uh, these will go on the side of my pack, the trekking poles, the XPED trekking poles, along with the Gossamer Gear Chrome Umbrella, Ultralight. And then at the bottom of the screen are my Zero Camp Shoes. Okay, by now you're thinking, holy cow, how much stuff is this guy taking? Well, Believe it or not, everything I'm showing you fits in my pack or on the side of my pack or in the pockets on my pack. And I will tell you that with food, fuel, and water, my pack weight is just over 27 pounds. So I wanted to go over these things. Okay, the first is water purification. That's my Sawyer filter with a couple of spare washers. This is my rain jacket which folds up, compresses very well. Okay, I have merino wool gloves and REI um, Gore-Tex mittens for the winter. This is my rain skirt, which again, folds up super small. And those are my Copperfield Enlightened Equipment rain pants. So all this <laughs> fits in a very small space. Now, this is starting to get hilarious. <laughs> I can't believe all this stuff fits, but believe me, it does. It's all ultralight. So up at the top of the screen is my beanie. Below that is my buff. Then to the lower right, you have the REI hand towel. And then over here, these are my uh, little accessories. So I have a small container of baking soda, a small container of body glide, a light load towel, a cork ball to roll out the muscles, some vitamin I, some sunscreen, and some Gorilla Glue for gluing my shoes. This is all of my, I guess, repair stuff um, with a couple other items mixed in. So <laughs> there's some hygiene items fingernail uh, clip as well as a tweezer, a repair kit for the air mattress, some some um, eye loops for the wood platform, some Dyneema cord, some glide floss, a sewing kit, and my bug net, and some tenacious tape. All very 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 light when you put it all together. All right, here is all of my hiking clothing. So starting on the right, I have some cool zip-off hiking pants, and these are great. I love them. Base layer, long and short sleeve Under Armour shirts, wicking shirts, super light. Some shorts for hiking when it gets warm. My fleece that I really like. And then for the feet, I have two pairs of compression socks. They're darn tough socks. And two pairs of Njinji socks. And most of the stuff here, except for the pants, uh, have been treated by Insect Shield. That's another video. One thing I did not show you was uh, these. These are my ankle supports. I'm going to be wearing those in addition to the and gingy socks covered by the darn tough compression socks covered by these ankle supports. So one of my ankles is pretty weak. I tore some ligaments in it years ago and I just feel that until, until my um, hiking legs kick in and ankles get stronger, I'm just gonna start with these. All right, we're getting towards the end now. These are my sleeping clothes. So what I have at the top is a long sleeve wicking shirt along with 
some merino wool darn tough socks some rei long underwear that's ultra light and those are two compression sleeves for just sleeping at night because i think i'm going to need something to uh help with the uh, cramps and everything and then there's two of those plastic clothespins that i told you about for the vestibule for the tent all right going a little bit further into the final articles of clothing uh, up at the top is my enlightened equipment tora jacket which compresses very small i just have it kind of stuffed into itself there my dirty girl gaiters and I am going to be using Ultra Lone Peak 4.0 shoes and these shoes have <laughs> seen their share of mud and hiking already. And I think I'm going to be going through probably four to five pairs of shoes from what everybody else tells me. I already have two spare sets of shoes ready to go. And last but not least, just showing you one of my smart water bottles, my Bigfoot Head Sweats baseball cap, and this is my Black Diamond Spot 325 headlamp. I love this thing. Runs on three AAA batteries. They last a long time. It has a battery indicator, and I did a review on it. You can find that in my videos. All right, I'm not going to show you my pack completely packed because I already have some hiking videos and all of this stuff is in my pack when I'm hiking and I kind of show the pack as I'm walking. So if you enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button if you liked it. And if you want to be notified when I release future videos, you can click on the bell and you'll be notified <laughs> and here is everything that is all piled on the floor including my pack so i don't want to take the time to stuff that stuff in right now anyways yeah i hope you have a great day thanks for watching all right just to prove to you <laughs> that i can fit everything in there this is the pack completely filled with everything that I showed you, distributed throughout the sides, both sides, the top, this is the top, so I have my camp shoes, the gossamer gear pad that goes under my sleeping pad, <clears throat> my sit pads there, in the mesh pocket, water kit, uh, the sanitation kit, the C knock bags, pack cover. This is the vestibule pad. Over on this side would be my quick kit on the side. And let's see what else. Okay, the pocket. Pockets filled with the stuff I need in there. This pocket's filled with everything. This is the FUPA. Right now I have my um, gloves. Gore-Tex mittens in there, beanie, and my buff. And then there are my trekking poles and my umbrella. So as you can see, everything fits. Again, the weight is around 28 pounds, and that's with water, fuel, and food.